Hello fellow alchemists, welcome back. This week I wanted to go over something I think is quite important. Um, when I schedule jobs, I often use Obin because I find it very kind of useful. I have a lot of kind of ad hoc jobs I need to do in the background, and I like the retry mechanism. But uh, last year I had a project, and in the project I didn't have any database at all, no MySQL, no anything. Uh, but I did need to schedule a job, and so I was thinking maybe I could just use cron. But I think to myself, maybe cron, you know, is kind of a little bit, you know, an older way to do things. I guess I could still use it. But in the end, I found another solution. So there's a really interesting and a great um, package out there called Quantum. So Quantum to me is basically like a cron it's basically a cron job scheduler and it doesn't require a database. You just set it up very easily and it could run jobs for you and you can even schedule dynamic jobs. So maybe in a future video, I'll show you how to do dynamic jobs. But for right now, I wanted to show you just the basics of how to actually use it. So if we go to our project over here, what you need to do is you just set up quantum and you say at least 3.0, I think it's 3.3.0 right now. After doing this, then you need to create your your job and so it's just use quantum and you have to name the name of your OTP app. And then finally, you need to set this as part of your uh, supervision tree so it gets started up for you. And then the very last step is just to actually schedule whatever jobs you need. And the cool part is that you just use simple CROM so you can just say, you know, uh, every 15 minutes or things like that. And so in this case, what I did was I just showed you, you know, how to do the same thing but two different ways. One is that you can actually pass in an anonymous function like this, and it could just run it for you, which is interesting. Now, the other thing you can do is you can just pass in a what they call MFA, right? So uh, module function and then arguments. And so in this case, basically, it's the same job, but it's being run in two different ways. Where, like I said, you know, anonymous function or using the MFA style module function and arguments. Another cool thing that you can do is within here, not only do you have this, but you can also have the extended uh, cron syntax. I, I don't know if this is something just for this or, or this is something that's kind of supported, but what else you can do is that you can say extended and you wrap this in a tuple. And with this extended, if I add an extra star, now this job will actually run every second. So if you need to do something every second, it could handle it. So for instance, if I just turn on IEX, now you'll see this actually running basically every second. So you can see all the jobs are just running for me. I don't have to do anything special. So to me, this is a really, really fantastic uh, scheduling uh, package for Elixir for people who don't have a database, but want something that's pretty robust and you can handle different kinds of methods. So yeah, it's working great. I use it in production right now and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you ever need to do some scheduling and you don't have a, a database, Postgres, I think this is a great solution for, for most kind of scheduled consistent jobs. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Plangora.